talking about all that, I, I was reading up on you and, you know, I'm trying to be a good podcast host. I want to read up on you and my guests, but not too much, you know, where I can still be surprised. Yeah. And I was reading an article that you wrote on, I think, Open Values on the website. And it was talking about your background, and actually how you and your family got started into farming. And it seems like you guys and your dad, especially, were both all very, very intentional about what you're doing at the farm. And, you know, and you wrote um, a really great quote in the article talking about, like, does God care about what we do at the farm? Does he care about what we put on a plate? And the whole article yeah. just really kind of made me think about just being intentional, like the intentionality of you guys of being farming. And so can you tell us about that a little bit, kind of like how you and your family got started in regenerative ag and then kind of how you're bringing God and your faith kind of into this? Sure. So, yeah. So, so my grandfather, my dad's dad was a, a charter subscriber in what, 1948 to Rodale's Organic Gardening and Farming Magazine. And, and uh, so he was an early proponent and his garden in Indiana, uh, he always had, you know, big compost piles. He had a, he had an old octagonal chicken house, mm. uh, chickens and, and, and this, this wonderful uh, tea trellis grape arbor that went around his garden and his garden was big. It was like, like a quarter acre, which is, you know, a pretty big garden. And, um, and, and he was a, you know, a master craftsman tinkerer, a little bit of an inventor. And, uh, and so dad, dad got this, this, kind of ecology this environmental bent i'm not going to use chemical fertilizers from him from from him and so you know i've i've never had a conversion experience i mean i just grew up you know being being a, a non-chemical environmentalist and, and what's funny is growing up you know again our family was 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 pretty conservative so you know you you, you go to church and and uh, all these conservative Christians are are making fun of the environmentalists and tree huggers and all that stuff. And our farmer friends, our farmer friends were all all uh, dope smoking hippies, you know. Uh, this was you know like, like early seventies, and um, and so you know all the all the farm stuff we went to was all about you know uh, composting and and uh, straw bale housing, you know, mm. and all this stuff. So, so I, I really appreciate that I grew up um, kind of kind of spanning those worlds, and it's given me a, a deep appreciation for uh, for for number one, um, um, assuming that what another person believes is 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 well intentioned. Now we mm. can just, I mean, and, and and this this bodes well for me today. I mean, even I mean my you know my uh, my greeny friends that they complain that that I don't say Monsanto is evil. I, I don't say Monsanto is evil. I think it's comprised of of a bunch of people that are misguided and I disagree with, but I think they're well intentioned. I I don't think it helps the conversation to think to say that you're bad intentioned. Um, even if we disagree violently. Uh, I'm going to assume that your intentions are good, and, and we just we just come from two different perspectives. And I find that that is this much more helpful in having conversations uh, and 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 finding you know places where we can agree on, rather than whatever you know cancel culture, censorship, and and uh, you know uh, 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 get out of there. So intentionality. You know, when we came to the farm in 1961. Uh, with that background, we uh, uh, dad, dad was a, dad was a, a, um, he was an accountant, so he was a numbers guy, mm -hmm. and he saw the chemical farming approach as like a drug addiction. Uh, you know, you, you get on this treadmill and you got to put on the chemicals, and you've always got to they, they've got they become more expensive, they become more toxic because you got to to get the same kick, you got to get a bigger hit, right? Oh yeah, and, and so so. Um, so he kind of saw that as a as a as a no in no win deal, and so you know we're looking around and and how do you how do you do this? And I remember like yesterday, it was a Sunday afternoon drive. We went somewhere. I don't remember whether it was north or south. We went somewhere about an hour away to a farm that was using portable portable shelters. I don't even remember what was in them. I don't know if it was lambs, pigs, chickens, or what it was. All I remember was coming home. Dad, dad was just just like like a child uh, with enthusiasm over the idea, just the idea that you could have mobile, portable infrastructure. You didn't have to build stationary stuff. And, and, and so, portable portability, mobility became a, 
I mean, it, it became the foundation of everything that we did uh, because animals move. They don't stay in the same place. And um, and so, you know, uh, he 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 built a, a we raised veal calves, built a veal barn, built a, a cow shade mobile. Uh, we built uh, rabbit portable rabbit shelters that then became portable chicken shelters. And, and that portability thing was just a really, really big deal. So our our, our intentionality was how can we mimic what we see in nature, the patterns in nature, God's design in nature, how, how can we mimic that? And so, you know, it, it's not that complicated. It's, you know, animals, animals move, um, and and uh, uh, soil is built with perennials. Mm -hmm. uh, perennials build soil more than annuals, so we're going to reduce tillage. Nature doesn't doesn't plow anything. And... Um, and the soil is built with carbon, you know, uh, decomposition, not not 10, 10, 10 bags of chemical fertilizer. And so, so uh, you know, with those very basic principles, uh, we just move forward with with the program. And um, wow, today it's, you know, it's 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 pretty different. 